Greetings and welcome to EE Craft. In this video, I would like to show you how to create a digital compass using an Arduino Uno R4 Wi Fi board and a magnetic sensor. The exciting part of this project is that we will use the LED matrix built into the Uno R4 Wi Fi to display the magnetic needle. The GY 271 breakout board uses a magnetic sensor that contains a well known three axis digital compass IC from Honeywell. The board is equipped with an I2C interface, which makes it easy to connect with the Arduino board. There are libraries available that support the IC and can help you get started quickly. There are breakout boards available from other popular brands, such as Adafruit. If you are planning to obtain a magnetic sensor board, it is important to note that the HMC 5883L IC has been replaced with a new one. The HMC5983 IC is the updated version of HMC5883L. There are a number of magnetic sensor ICs and breakout boards that you can consider for your application. I would like to suggest three popular ICs from Honeywell, ST Micro, and Bosch that may be suitable for your needs. In the video tutorial that we will be watching, we will be using an older but still commonly used IC. HMC 5883L, as mentioned earlier. It is important to note the orientation of the sensor board. I have connected the magnetic sensor board such that the x-axis of the sensor is oriented towards IO pin 0, and away from pin 13. Once the connections are finished, we can proceed to the sketch. If you haven't installed the libraries for the magnetic sensor chip already, you need to install them before moving forward. In this case, I'm utilizing the libraries for the HMC 5883L chip from Adafruit. Note that we will also require the wire library and Arduino LED matrix library. The header file frame underscore compass stores the values for the LED matrix display frames, which will be discussed later. The function display sensor details is called in the setup function, which displays the sensor details as shown. The setup function also initializes the serial port of the Arduino board and initializes the sensor too. Let's now move on to the loop function. The sensor is read in every loop execution and the values of the magnetic vectors for three axes, expressed in micro Tesla, are sent to the serial port. Next, in the loop function, the heading is calculated using the x-axis and y-axis values. Depending on where your location is, a correction factor is required to be applied for the magnetic declination as mentioned in the comment. In the following section, the heading is converted into 0 to 360 degree format. So far, the code can be found in the example sketch that comes with the Adafruit library. The switch case statement is something that is new. This section displays a digital compass needle, which always adjusts its direction such that it points to the north. This was a nice puzzle to solve. Here is the process we follow. We compute for frames, each showing a direction such as north, south, east, and west. Additionally, we compute frames for directions that fall in between these for main directions, such as northeast, northwest, southeast, and southwest. The Excel file we use for this process has already been introduced in an earlier video posted on this channel. You can find the links in the description box. To divide 360 degrees into 8 directional frames, we can display each frame for a 45 degrees heading. However, we display magnetic north using a frame heading underscore MN that has a plus or minus 2 degrees tolerance with respect to the 0 degree heading. As the LED matrix display is used here to display the direction, achieving a better resolution is difficult. But we can find the direction north very accurately. Please note that the direction of magnetic north is displayed with a N, along with the arrow, providing an accuracy of 2 degrees. It is important to note that the heading underscore N, which indicates the heading towards north, does not have N, as it shows north within a deviation of plus or minus 22 degrees. After the LED matrix hex values are computed using the Excel file, the values of the heading frames are transferred to the frames underscore compass header file.
After completing the sketch, upload it to the Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi board. The LED matrix displays the direction, while the serial port shows the heading values. After completing the debugging process, the USB cable can be disconnected. I have attached a 9V battery to the Arduino board to enable unrestricted rotation. We have confirmed the direction displayed as magnetic north by utilizing a magnetic compass. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section. And if you would like to support us in making more tutorials, please subscribe to our channel EE Craft.